In 1815, the French Emperor Napoleon was rallying his troops for one last stand. For some, the battlefields of Europe were a distant memory, but for one young Irishman, this was the chance to prove himself. Please, my love, reconsider. I cannot. They say Bonaparte has reached Paris, and I must join him. Time is running out, and I must play my part. I sail to France, a boy, but I will return to you, a man. Oh, Daniel, I do love you. Captain, father. Really, Captain, your affections are quite overwhelming. My dear. Your effect on me grows more overwhelming with each passing day. <laughs> May I offer you a wine biscuit, my good captain? Well, I must admit to having developed quite a sweet tooth since the Battle of Salamanca. Dashed portable cakes. <laughs> oh, well. What harm? You can sail to France again. I will return to you a man. <laughs> Daniel would not return to Clara a man, but the battlefield scavengers were to provide her with one dreadful souvenir. I assure you, Captain, this set is of Excellent quality, and uh, very, very fresh. They really are exquisite. Now, oh. we just need to make a bit of room. I do hope you like them, my dear. <laughs> They're a little tricky to get used to at first, man. Splendid. Uh, better in your head than some Bonapartist devil. Huh? <laughs> Would you care for some portable cake? I never can resist. Now, we must plan the wedding. Clara's souvenir of her young lover soon decayed, and her husband opted for a set of newly invented porcelain teeth. By the second half of the 19th century, the use of Waterloo dentures was consigned to history. <laughs>